today we are going to solve an interview question that is being asked in amazon microsoft netflix google flipkart and any more big companies okay so let me just quickly share the screen and let's jump to the question okay so guys the question is simple we have to find the new and the repeat customer date wise before that we have this table known as the customer orders table okay so the create table and the insert table query i will uh, basically put down in the comment section okay so you can just see the table over here we suppose you are basically an owner of amazon or some e-commerce platform okay so basically what is happening you can see the order id over here customer id order date and order amount so on your e-commerce platform basically customers are coming up and purchasing certain order okay or certain commodity okay you can see order id 1 2 3 4 6 7 8 9 we have the data for 1st to 3rd january 3rd january 2022 right now and what we need to find out is basically let me just show you the question we have to find out the new and the repeat customers date wise what this means is basically let me just show you if i just do date uh, let's say number of new customers new customers number of repeat customers okay so on 1st of january as you can see in the data right 1st of january is actually your first day of operation right we don't have any data before that so on 1st of january whichever the customer has come to us right it is actually going to be our new customer okay so we can see customer id 100 customer id 200 and customer id 300 are going to be our new customer right and we can't see anything more than that right so we have three new customers on 1st of january and number of repeat customers is zero because this is our first day of operations okay on 2nd of january if we talk about let's go to see the data again on 2nd of january if we can see there is 100 400 and 500 but i know 100 is actually come before so it is going to be my repeat customer now 400 and 500 are actually my new customers so my number of new customers is going to be now there is going to be two and number of repeat customers is going to be one now if i talk to 3rd of january on 3rd of january i can see customer id 100 400 and 600 but i know 100 has actually come before okay 400 and has actually come before on 2nd of january right so now my repeat customers are two and my new customer is basically one okay so one and number of repeat customers is equal to two. so guys this is what we want in our answer now let's try to find out how we can actually write a query about the same so if sometime your data is huge or large right you can easily solve this by writing a simple query okay so guys how i will approach this is basically i will try to first of all i will try to first of all create uh want to I, I just want to find out the first visit date for each and every customer okay so i can know on which date my customer has actually visited for the first time for this what i will do i will just write for every customer their first visit date that is going to be the minimum of order date over here right as first visit date so when i run this part let me just see when i run this okay i have just missed the group by over here okay group by customer id right okay let me just order it by also order by let's say customer id Okay, guys, now you can see I know the first visit date of each and every customer. I know first, I know customer ID 100, 200, and 300 actually visited first time on 1st of January, right? 400 on 2nd January, we have already seen 400, 500 on 2nd January, and 600 on 3rd January, right? Now, guys, let me show you what I want, what I am thinking how to solve this is basically. Let me just run this query as well. 
Okay. Let me do a thing. Okay, let me write this query and after that I will make you understand what I am trying to do over here. Okay. So guys, I will be using a CT function, basically a with clause over here. Okay. To basically use this uh, query up to basically use this query up for uh, n number of times. Okay. I'm just giving this as name as first details with first details as now I can use this query up whenever I want to. So if I just do a left join over here on first details and on basically, let me just give it a name CO. Let me just give this a name FT. Okay. If I just try to um, Okay, so I will be selecting everything from here and first. Guys, just give me a minute. I will be explaining each and everything to you. Okay, cool. Okay, so guys, what I have done is I have simply make a left join on the first details table over here because I have created this uh, query with the with clause with the help of the with clause. Okay. So <clears throat> I've just make a join on the customer ID. Now guys, let me just order it by again. Okay. Order by let's say order ID. So to make it very clear to you guys. Okay. So guys now see the data clearly. Okay. Now I know for each order date. Okay. Each customer, whenever he is going to visit, uh, visit, uh, whenever his, his first visit date is actually okay. So if you can see on 1st of January for customer ID hundred, his first visit date is also going to be 1st of January, right? If you can see order date first Jan and for customer ID 200 for these three, my first visit date is actually same because this is my first day of operation. Now, if I move to 2nd of January and see customer ID hundred, you can see now the first visit date is 1st of January that we have actually seen, right? So guys, now what I am thinking, okay. So did you understand the concept? I am comparing order date with first visit date. And I am trying to say if my order date is equal to first visit date, if my order date is actually my first visit date, right? So I am visiting or my customer is visiting for the first time. But if my order date is not equal to my first visit date, so basically it means my customer has actually visited me previously. That is basically if my order rate is not equal to my first visit date, that is, that means that this customer on that particular date is my repeat customer, right? Similarly, if you can see <clears throat> on 400 and 500, 400 and 500 have same dates for order date and first visit date. So basically they are new customers and we have already seen this in in the starting of it, right? If we go to 3rd of January and see about hundred customer ID hundred. Now we can also see because uh, we already know the first visit date for first, uh, for customer ID hundred is actually <clears throat> 1st of January and the order date is 3rd of January. So we know that customer ID hundred has act previously visited, visited us on 1st of January. Okay. So in this fashion, I am thinking to proceed ahead. Okay. I will try to compare the order date with the first visit visit date and try to write some query so that I can bring this up. Okay. So what I will do guys is I will simply create a case when statement. Okay. So case when my order date is equal to first visit date, then one else I will provide it zero. I will end the new kind of flag. Okay. I'm giving this a name as new flag. Okay. Similarly, I will just copy this and I will try to run. If this is not equal to this, then I will say repeat flag. Okay. Let me quickly run this up as well. Okay. There is a mistake. Okay. Yeah. Let me quickly run this up guys. Let's see. So guys, now you can clearly see, right? 
for first of January, for these three, for all of the first of January, we can see only new flag one, new flag one, new flag one, because they are only new customers, right? <clears throat> Moving to second of January, customer ID hundred, because this is actually a repeat customer. That's why, because our order date is not equal to the first visit date. So we know this is repeat. And in our case, when condition also, I have got, I have given a condition when this is equal to this, then give me a value one, unless give me zero. So it, this is not matching to this. So new flag is zero, but my repeat flag is going to be one stating that, or giving uh, me an insight that this is a repeat customer, right? Am I, okay. Great, 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 great. Okay. So guys, if we move to this as well, you can see over here, this is going to match with this new flag one, because this is new customer similarly for customer ID 500 as well. Now, if we move to third on January on customer ID hundred, we already know order order date and first visit date are not matching. So my new flag is going to be zero and my repeat flag is going to be one because the case when statements are written in a same fashion. Now guys understand this part, understand this part. If now I just do a sum of this, sum of my new flag and repeat flag, according to my order date, right? For 1st of January, for if I calculate, if I have to need to calculate on 1st of January, for 1st of January, if I do a sum of new flag or repeat flag, I can see on 1st of January, my new flag sum is going to be three stating that I have three new customers and repeat flag is zero, right? That is stating my, my repeat customers on 1st of January is zero. See for 2nd of January as well. On 2nd of January, if I do a group by clause, okay, by summing it, summing up the new flag and the repeat flag. You can clearly see on 2nd of January, I have the sum as two for the new flag and for the repeat flag, it is going to be one, the sum of new flag and repeat flag, right? Stating that again, I have two new customers and one repeat customer. So guys, what we are going to do is I'm just giving another with clause over here. Okay. Let's say customer order details. Let me just give this name over here. Okay. And I will be just doing a select statement, select order date because I want order date in my answer, comma, sum of new flag that is actually going to be guys, the number of new customers. Okay. And similarly, let me just copy paste it. Some of, okay. Some of repeat flag is basically going to be the number of repeat customers over here. Right from the table above from this table. Okay. I have just missed a, okay. Yes. From this table above. Right. And I have to group it by order date as well. Let me just run this part now and let's see what happens. Okay. Okay. So just, just a second. Let me just order it by as well. Order by order date. So that answer looks in a good fashion. Okay. So guys, when I run this query, you can clearly see the answer that was that I was expecting on 1st of January, number of new customers, three repeat is zero second, two, one, one, two in the same fashion. I have already written this right First January. If you can just compare, we are actually correct. And we have actually gotten, uh, we have actually got the solution of this amazing problem which is asked in a lot of companies. Okay. Guys, there can be another way or a most, uh, or you can say easier way to solve this question. Okay. If you have known about, okay. So let me do a thing. I will not tell you the solution for this right now. Comment in the, okay. You can just put out your answers in the comment box. If you know, a correct answer or a better solution for this. Okay. I will be waiting for you in the comment box. And guys, if you want to learn such amazing things, okay. If you want to learn about SQL and advanced SQL, actually, you can join my workshop. Okay. Which is hosted by office master. Uh, I will just share the link to this in my description and you can join my workshop to learn advanced SQL completely. Okay, guys. Thank you so much.